Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will learn about four new functions in Excel. Those are count, countif, countifs, and counta. These functions belong to the category of statistical functions and are very important functions in Excel. So let's get started with count function. This function has only one mandatory argument, and let's try to break down each of its elements. The name of this function has only one element, and it carries the literal meaning of counting. No explanation is required. Basically, count function is used to count the number of records in a particular column or in a range of cells, but it counts only numerical values and dates and will ignore all text values including the boolean values true or false. The first argument is value 1 and it can be individual cell or numerical values. You can also give the range of cells obviously with numerical values as input to value 1 argument. and it will give the counts of all the numerical records next is the count if function and it has only two mandatory arguments let's try to break it down this function name has two different names first is name count with literal meaning of counting and the second is if which is a logical if condition so basically this function will count the number of records which meets certain criteria the first input required is a range of cells obviously to count something and the second input is a criteria and of course this criteria must be part of range input next is count ifs function and it is just an extension of count if function if we try to break down its name the count and the if have the same meanings the only addition is the letter s which stands for series of if condition sequence of if condition or even it is the plural form of if condition which means multiple conditions The two inputs that is required is also same. You can give the range of cells as input to criteria range one, and the criteria one must be part of criteria range one. If in case we need to add multiple criteria, we can extend the same logic for criteria range two, criteria two, criteria range three, criteria three, so on and so forth. The last function is count a, and this function is similar to count function, but the key difference is. it can count any values including the text and boolean values or in other words we can say this function will count all non blank cells over a range of data the name of this function has two elements the count carries the literal meaning as before and here a stands for all and you can guess why it is so again the input for this function can be any range of cells with numerical and text values only thing to remember here is This function will not count the blank values. Now if in case you want to count the blank values over a range of cells, we have a dedicated formula for that as well, which is called count blank. And I'm not going to cover that function because it is pretty simple and you can try it on your own. You just have to give the range of data as input to this function and it will count the blank values for you. Finally, we are done with all the basics. Let's jump back to Excel and see some examples. So we are back into Excel. and i will be using this data set as an example and this is the same data set which i have used in my previous videos to show the examples of how each of these functions work we will try to answer these five questions and that should cover all the possible scenarios so the first question is to find the number of records under sales amount column let's add the count formula select the column e as input to value one argument close the bracket and hit enter we get the output as 20 even though we have total entries of 21 in this entire column and as pointed before this function will not consider the text values which is header value and that's the reason we get the output as 20 now let's add count a formula give entire column e as input to value one argument close the bracket and hit enter we get the total entries as 21 which also includes the text value in this case it is header value i hope this difference is pretty clear now The next question is to find the number of records under sales amount column which are greater than 20000 value. Let's add count if formula, select entire column E as input to range argument and the criteria will be greater than 20000 and since this function operates on more than one cell, we need to enclose this criteria in double quotes. Close the bracket and hit enter, you will get the output as 10 as we have 10 such records. So the next question is to count the number of records for online order type. So let's add the count if function. Select column B as input to range argument and we can select any cell value with online order type as input to criteria. 
close the bracket and hit enter you will get the output as 15 the next question is to count the number of records in may month and online order type since we have two different criteria in two different columns we will use count ifs formula let's select column d as input to criteria range 1 argument criteria 1 will be may month select column b as input to criteria range 2 argument criteria 2 will be online close the bracket and hit enter you will get the output as 2 finally the last question is to count the number of records in september month with online order type and affiliate source here we have three different criteria in three different columns so let's add count ifs formula select column d as input to criteria range 1 argument criteria 1 will be september month select column b as input to criteria range 2 argument criteria 2 will be online finally select column c as input to criteria range 3 argument criteria 3 will be affiliate close the bracket and hit enter you will get the output as one as we have only one such record so that is how we need to use count count a count if and count ifs function in excel that's all i wanted to cover in this video